I'm Woody. That's Ravy. There's uh, Greg Goring. Morning. Uh, Menace is here. What is up, Woody? We got sea bass. We got fresh back from COVID sandwiches yes, here. Good morning. Mm. How was COVID? Terrible. Was I, it? I mean, yes, but I was ex- I was exhausted, but I got a lot of sleep. I know. Nice. I slept so much. So Fun. awesome. Lucky. But she needed to sleep because she was hella sick. Right. Okay. I yeah, don't this... like getting sleep that way. Because <laughs> I'm so sick, I can't be also, awake. I but, mean, you know, but you know I have like um, I have weird a, jealousy. I have weird jealousy. That's true. Like when I went to go visit, Ravi was in the hospital for, was it to get your appendix? Appendi- yeah, yeah, she got her appendix out. And so uh, she was only there for like a day or so. I had to stay in overnight because yeah. the iron was really low in my blood. So yeah, they were no iron. Cozy. Blood. So I stopped in to the hospital to see Ravi after work and just check on her. And when I walked <laughs> in there, I was just awash with jealousy <laughs> because she's like, in this bed, and mm-hmm. all these people are coming by, and they're bringing her food and checking on anything she needs, like just just being waited on mm-hmm. hand and foot. And I'm thinking, like, oh man, she slept in today. Yeah. Like, yeah. keep in mind, I'm coming, I'm coming right from work. I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> I was IV uh, in. I had like this blood <laughs> transfer yeah. happening. I had this weird <laughs> jealousy, or like when you think about when you're like just in the the treadmill of, of work week or mm-hmm. whatever, yeah. and then uh, you hear about someone who's like homesick, mm-hmm. you're like, oh. Rip. Oh, how come you're like so comfortable <laughs> on the couch? Yeah. yeah, people are just like, oh, can Super I get you anything? Yeah, you're comfortable uh-huh. on the couch. You're vomiting, but hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you're not Good. vomiting. But then, like, like Sammy was saying soup. that she slept for like 12 hours. Yeah, um, I was sleeping 12 hours a night. I would, And then I would be awake for three hours and take another four-hour oh, nap. Really? I slept yeah. so much. That sounds so awesome. That's so awesome. Okay, but she was hella sick. I was very sick. Scared. Yeah, but it also sucked because I live alone. So I still had to be the one to take care of myself. I still had to make myself soup, eh. and I only have one pot to make it in, so I had to hand wash it after every single oh, time no. I used it. And it was not fun. See, like, <laughs> even though I don't. more pots. Yeah. You know, I don't live alone. I don't get these guys. Like, you hear women making fun of dudes all the time. Like, oh, they get a cold. And all of a sudden, they're like the biggest babies crying out for their mom. Like, I'm not that guy. I'm also not the guy who's thinking about the Roman Empire every day. Yeah. You know, or you should. What, it's yeah, crazy. I guess I'm just a very <laughs> different person. I don't, I don't know. Because when I don't feel well, I want to be left the F alone. Right, like, right. I don't, really? Like, please, like, go away. I don't. I don't need anything. Thank you for the offer. Like, but mm. I don't want anything. I don't need anything. Just let me be. Let me rest. Let me chill. Yep. You know, like, and if I want something, I'll, I got no problem getting up and getting it or running to the store mm. to get my prescription if I need that or what. Like, j- I just don't want to have to deal with other people because you get mm. irritable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? True. And uh, like to me, that part is the annoying part. Yeah. It's the opposite of needing someone to be like, oh, tuck you in and take your temperature, <laughs> like. Well, nobody wants that. No. Oh, there are guys who want that. Oh, in their I 30s? Do. Oh, dude, my yeah. one buddy is in his 50s and is like the biggest baby. Oh, I just love, love soup. Biggest baby. Me, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Just when bring I have, me yeah, soup. I have friends bring me soup. Yeah. Bring when I had COVID, water. I didn't leave my room. And when the soup showed up at the door, it was so awesome. And the one time, <laughs> the one time I'm that I did ask, that. Yeah. The one time that my, uh, my wife was running to the store when I was sick, she goes, Do you need anything? Uh-huh. I go, actually, you know what? Can you get me some whatever it was? Just say it was uh, Gatorade. Right. But give me some Gatorade. She comes back from the store with everything else under the sun, stuff she didn't even go there for, except for the one thing that I what asked is for. What Gatorade? Oh, no. The one thing. I'm like, see, this is just she why you do care. things on your own. She doesn't care. She doesn't. Mm-hmm. She clearly doesn't care. <laughs> she really doesn't care. Anyway, welcome back, Sam. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, phones are open, 877-44-WOODY. You can hit us up with a text over to 22987. Uh, Greg Gorey, what are some of the trending news headlines happening today? Uh, did you hear that former Boston Red Sox star, Tim Wakefield? Poor Tim Wakefield. Two-time World Series champ. He died at the age of 57 after a battle with aggressive brain cancer. And he actually died just a few days after Kurt Schilling revealed that he had cancer on his podcast. Yeah. Something that Tim Wakefield's family did not want yeah. shared. That was oh, a dick hard move. hard to believe. Oh, wow. Kurt Schilling did something dickish. Yeah. <laughs> that was a dick move. Um, and it's interesting that it's so quick. You know, from when he discussed it publicly to when Tim actually died. Yeah. Days. You know, aggressive like, did he know cancer. that? Or is it just like a, you know, a coincidence? I don't know. Like, hey, here, well, you know, this is this is imminent. This is happening. Yeah. I like, told you I had a neighbor who discovered he had cancer and within three weeks he was From gone. diagnosis wow. to death? Yeah. Really? Yeah. See, that's the scary that's thing. So that was pretty scary. I feel like I can Crazy. deal with anything that you at least know about, you know, or would it be mm-hmm. better? 
Well, I mean, a lot of people in this situation want to just keep it within the family. No, I'm saying, like, uh, what would be better? You get diagnosed and you're done three like weeks later? Quick. Or mm-hmm. is well, it it's two years. long and Prolong. drawn out? Is it is it better, like, you know about whatever it is and you're going through, you know, it's like a longer term thing? Depends on how many people you want to say goodbye to, I guess. Yeah. And whatever time you have, it sucks. is it quality time? Right, is that two years yeah. going to be spent just, just lying in around. chemo yeah. and vomiting? Oh. And, and apparently his wife's in bad shape, too. Like, she's got uh, that true? cancer. That was one of the other really? things that Kurt Schilling was talking about. Like, so he's sick, and he was going through treatments. She's sick. She's going through treatments. Sucks. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, Tim Wakefield, retired back in 2011, was later inducted to the Red Sox Hall of Fame, spent all but two of his 19 seasons with the Red Sox, after playing for the Pirates. Uh, if you have student loans, be aware that the pandemic-related pause in payments, which had been in effect since March of 2020, is now over. So all student loan holders have to start paying again, effective now, basically. Of course, everybody's payment plan, payment schedule is different. But this month, those payments are due again. So your payments should be the same as they were before, unless you paid them down a bit. And interest rates, those were set at 0% during that pause, but they started accruing again last month. Well, that was a nice break, you know? Yeah, a couple yeah. of years. Everybody got years. a nice little break from that. Sure. It was nice. And now 80% of people don't know if they qualify for the the ten grand payment. Uh, all that stuff is so oh, confusing. It's yeah. so baffling. And I'll be honest, I don't even really pay attention to it because- It doesn't affect Well, me. people yeah. don't even know the answer. Yeah. Well, because like I, I tried to follow so I'd have like some understanding because I know a lot of people in our mm-hmm. audience have yeah. student loans and whatever- but it got so confusing, and then there were these appeals for the the forgiveness and the whatever yeah. payments or ten thousand dollars or whatever. It got so confusing. I'm like, forget it. Yeah, yeah. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to. Understand. So, I don't right. understand. It doesn't affect me directly. I don't. I, I think, don't get it. Thank. And all I can think of is every time the student loan thing comes up is thank God. Everybody, my parents were like, you need to go to college. You need. You're never gonna be able to do anything and make it. Okay. Well, I somehow made it work, and I never spent one day in college. You know, it's not for everybody, especially going forward. Uh, it seems to be less and less important. Um, even state and uh, other federal jobs now yeah. don't even require right. college degrees. Mm-hmm. I always thought it was so funny. Our stupid-ass uh, program director, Mike the Show Killer. Oh, boy. After uh-huh. he left our station, he went to go start hiring people at another radio station that mm-hmm. he was going to destroy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he was looking for somebody to be on at night from like 7 p.m. till midnight on an alternative station a radio yeah. station. Okay. And, he, and the requirement was you had to have a four year college degree. Why? What? Or why? what? That was or his what? requirement? Oh, yeah, that was his requirement. What the heck? I'm like, why? why? From that guy? And I asked him about it. He goes, well, it just shows a certain level of. Uh, I'm like, are you, are you high? <laughs> why? The people that you want, the people who are going to be the best, probably don't even have a degree. Right. Yeah. They're the people who are wild <laughs> and creative. <laughs> and creative uh, types. Yeah, yeah. Makes you well rounded. Like, Does he have a degree? Like, do you know what this job is? <laughs> yeah, what if he has a degree? What's your degree in? Yeah. It's... Who gave you a degree? That's bizarre. Right. right. How, did, uh, uh, how think, did you handle that? <laughs> I think right now, though, with the payments, are like, start paying, and then we'll figure out if you qualify or not. So okay. that kind of sucks because you're like, you know, you did all these payments, and then you find out, oh, they could have been forgiven. Yeah, right. 714 yeah. Uh, yeah. says the 10 grand payment doesn't exist anymore. No one's getting it. Well, they did our favorite thing where they passed something and then realized, oh, wait, mm-hmm. oh. we need congressional approval mm-hmm. for this. We yeah. shouldn't have said that. Uh, mm-hmm. One Kinda of my like favorite stories, things. Greg told me this. Uh, pretty soon after we first met because I didn't really understand. We were living in San Francisco oh, and yes. I had no idea about how dumb California politics were. <laughs> you know, at that point I was still very uh, new to the whole thing, just had moved to San Francisco mm-hmm. and Greg goes, oh yeah, they love doing that around here. In fact, uh, just recently they had a thing on the ballot that said, do we, do we want to get rid of ATM fees? Right. You know, it says uh, you're, this, uh, the owner of this ATM is charging you X number of dollars, Couple whatever. Bucks. And of course, everybody goes, well, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. I don't get rid of these fees. Well, they suck. Well, it yeah. turns out you're not allowed to do that because you can't tell a business what they can and can't charge for. Right. So it was. It shouldn't even been on the ballot in the first place. They mm-hmm. quickly throw stuff on the ballot, yeah. and then decide <laughs> if it's constitutional. Yeah, like, hmm. um, yeah. You can't and read up on that and first. It, and, it ha- right? and it happens everywhere, every time. You know why? Because everything's too complicated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Got, and they intentionally make things complicated so that these politicians can get up there and go, right. "Oh, well, we're gonna do this." And then when they throw it out there and they go, "Oh, we're gonna forgive everybody's student loans or whatever." Yeah. They look like they're doing something, and then when it inevitably it gets told that you know, it fails. oh, you can't do that for X, Y, and Z legal reasons. Right? People go, "Whoa, that's BS." See, 
that's our guy. He tried to blah, 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 blah. At least he tried. And the politicians mm. know that it's never yeah. going to go through, but they get to stand up in front of all their constituents okay. Look, and go, I like, tried. this is what we're going to do. Right. We're getting rid of ATM fees. Mm. I'm a hero. Yeah. Because yeah. I tried. Do you think it's fair the store is able to charge you for milk and eggs? We don't. <laughs> Should we set their prices? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Mike the show killer. Oh. Hey. Not true. What do you mean? Yeah, it is true. <laughs> what part's not the true? The part about his, he was requiring a college degree. No, for that was the some... company I worked for. They, they put it in there. I didn't even know it was in there. And why? It was, it was no, in I gave you so much crap about it in the first place, and you, and you said nothing about that at the time. This may be revisionist history mm-hmm. from you, which you are no, notorious no, no, for. No, no, no. Yes, it is. It's notoriously you. You wanted to we've agree? All, we've all lived you num- a number of times. Dude, for whatever reason, he decided that this was going to be like how he was going to find quality people to be on the radio <laughs> from 7 p.m. until midnight. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just like to embellish things, Jeff. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Sure. Uh, Jeffrey. Yeah. Oh, uh, do you have a degree, Mike? Oh, <laughs> yeah, do you have a degree? Yes, I have a degree. From what crappy school? Rowan. Rowan. In South Jersey. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. From yeah. Rowan. Rowan. <laughs> yeah. I have no, and I have no, absolutely no debt. From... No debt. It was, <laughs> it was really cheap. Yeah. It was really cheap, actually. Oh, you have no I student actually... loan debt. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. what I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. We all know about you financially. Yeah, and can you provide okay. the paperwork uh-huh. with that diploma? <laughs> <laughs> Can't take your word for it. Oh, hold on. We just got a text from Rowan. They would like you to keep that information yeah. to yourself yeah. from now on. We, <laughs> did, we denounced this guy. All right. All right. All right. How's, yeah. uh, we uh, don't know how he slipped through the cracks. Uh, how's, uh, how's the new job going? Uh, it's great so far. The the people locally here are great. They I mean, because they, they haven't figured him out yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very new. <laughs> right, he's still in that honeymoon phase. Wait till they figure <laughs> out what an annoying bastard he is. Well, you're not helping. Well, oh, we're not oh. helping. We're not oh, helping. No. <laughs> well, he's got a point there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got. I got. I got to go back to my real job. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, man. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. All right, bye. Yeah. I go back. To- He's Jeff such Keller. a he's such a lying liar. You know, I like how he's come back. Oh, Jeff, yeah. Je- Jeffrey, uh, uh, Jeffrey, <laughs> not, not true. Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Not, not true. I wasn't Rowan. <laughs> <laughs> you know that school that everybody's heard of, Rowan. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've heard of it, but uh, okay. yeah. I mean, it's no Harvard. Oh, it's no, that's oh, so good. <laughs> you know, like, like, if there's anybody from Rowan, they probably. Like, if they knew, they're just like, oh, please don't, please don't. Oh, oh, don't, say it. Oh, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Oh, no. <laughs>